to study processes in the living cell, to discover the origin of diseases and to develop new medicines, we need to study life at the molecular skill. In our newest work, we laid new foundations for super-resolution microscopy to track individual molecules even more precisely. And on the way, we learned some valuable practical lessons that nuance major precision improvements that were made previously in this field. But let's start simple. The resolution of an optical microscope is limited to about 200 nanometers due to the physical nature of light. Now in our lab, we are playing an information game on two fronts, which allows us to surpass this limit. On one front, we design and build smart microscopes that encode as much information as possible into the data we record. And on the other front, we decode and extract this information from the data by designing advanced algorithms. Now, let's take as an example classical signal molecule localization microscopy. And with this technique, we can ensure that molecules are randomly switched on or off. Then, sensitive sensors capture the light signals. And to give a bit of perspective there, where a human eye records 10 to the power of 15 photons per frame, these sensors can record individual photons. Afterwards, we analyze the data we obtained, and this results in a resolution of about 20 nanometers, which is a tenfold improvement over using an ordinary optical microscope. Now, in our newest work, we make photons even smarter, in the sense that they contain more information about the location of molecules. In other words, our photons are equal, but some are more equal than others. This research took over two years, in which we have developed a simulation framework to describe the maximum amount of information that can be encoded in a photon. In other words, our method gives the best case precision that can be obtained with a microscope. And this allowed us to describe the limitations of the technique, which was thought to have much greater potential before. We lay new foundations for a super resolution method called iterative single molecule localization microscopy. In this technique, we use illumination patterns to zoom in on individual molecules. And to do so, we use results from previous experiments to place the patterns closer and closer to the molecules. This makes it possible to increase the sharpness of the image exactly where the molecules are. And with this, you can reach a resolution of 1 to 3 nanometers. Now, in simulation, we explored the best possible precision that can be achieved with this technique. And we analyzed the technique from a Bayesian perspective, using a mathematical tool called the Ventris inequality. With this tool, we showed that the resolution improvements can be traced back to prior knowledge obtained from previous experiments. Now, from earlier work, the field largely believed that the technique had the potential to majorly improve resolution. But now with our method, we show that the technique has limitations, which render these improvements virtually unattainable in practice. In practical scenarios, the best you can hope for is an improvement of about five times compared to the standard technique. One of the most important outcomes of our research is that we set the expectations about iterative single molecule localization microscopy right. Building such a microscope is a complex, expensive, and time-intensive task. And now with our results in hand, other researchers can make more informed choices about using this technique. Furthermore, we provide an excellent tool to assess the performance of iterative single molecule localization microscopy. This paves the way for optimizing the technique, given the practical circumstances that are present in a specific setup. Thus, our method is the method of choice for optimal design and control of iterative localization microscopy, and this enables new discoveries in cell biology, disease studies, and medicine development.